are you? I am Stephen Mulhern and this is Tricky TV, the most magical show on the television. And it makes people say... Wow! Oh oh you will be able to make people say that too, because we will show you how. Coming up, we attempt to pull somebody from one barrel to another through a solid metal disc. We're going to try and set a world record for the tallest stack of cards. It can only go wrong for our victims in our wicked wind-up. <laughs> and how can you remove the paper without touching the coin? If he does it, you make... Oh! We'll tell you how in Beat the Cheese. Tricky TV! Tell you what, Keith, it's going to be a cracking show, isn't it? What do you mean, no? It's going to be brilliant. Ah, you were just kidding, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being joking. I'm not being serious. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, I'll give you a chewing gum, okay? Oh no, actually, this is my last one. I tell you what, look. I've got half each. Half for you, half for me, okay? No, actually, Keith's been really good to me over the last 25 years. Hmm. I know what I'll do. Look, I'll take this half with this half like this, and. We'll it back together how it started like that. There you go, Keith. <laughs> so press Keith, also press this lot. Take out the wrapper first, Keith. Oh, wow! <laughs> Wicky! How did you do that? The crowds love this trick and you'll amaze people when you know how to do it too. I'll reveal the secret later. Great game! TV. Howdy, partner! Yes, it is time for our big trick cowboy style. Now, to see up close what you're going to see at home, I brought all my friends from Falcon Primary School. Hello, all! Hi! Hello, hello, hello. Now, this is a crazy cowboy trick. And also to help me out, I brought a real cowboy. Are you ready for this? This is Cole. Come out here, Cole. Honestly, he really is a, a cowboy. How are you? Howdy. Howdy, absolutely. Now, here's the idea of the trick. We are going to place someone in a moment inside this barrel. We are then going to pull them, or hopefully pull them, through a hole that small into that barrel over there. Now, I know what you're thinking. You may be thinking, where would you find someone silly enough to do this? You look silly enough. No, I'm not silly. <laughs> Who are no you? No way that I'm going in that <laughs> Who is he? No way. Who is he? Sparks, Mr. Head teacher. Oh, hello. He's the head teacher. So you're no not going to help us out? No OK. Way. All right. Um, will you help us out? Um, Who are you? Miss McDonald. Miss McDonald. I, I always want to know teacher's first name. What's, what's, what's your first name? Vicky. Vicky. I know teacher's first name. Uh, will you help us out? But should you do it? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Good yeah. stuff. All right, Kevin, you'll be fine, I promise you. And what you need to do is get inside this end for us. That's it. There you go. Right, fantastic. Yeah, you fit perfectly. Okay, now just turn you round, because we're going to lock 
Vicky inside. Okay, there you are. In she goes. And lock that in, in place. You in place it, nice and solid. Turn her back now. To make this even more impossible, apart from pulling her through a hole that small, we're also going to use this solid plate. Can you lift that up for us? That's good. Okay, there you go. That goes on just there, like that. And again, just lock that in place there and there. No way from the front, no way from the back. She can't get out at all. Now, what we're going to do now is show you these solid bars over here. So not only do we have the solid plate, we've also got the solid rods here that she's going to be pulled through too. Now I know this all sounds really impossible, but you know, it's tricky TV. We'll give anything a go. Now, I do need the rope. Hopefully that's here. Uh, Vicky? Yeah? Okay, are you right in there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pass some rope through. If you could pull that through for me. Okay, just about there is fine. That's good. And now let's connect the barrels up. That's good. That's all good. Okay, great stuff. All right, now we lock that in place like this. Everything should be ready to go. Now, Vicky, I'm just going to pass a bandana inside this end here. Okay. Also, don't forget, remember, she can't get out of that end. Let's just turn it round. You can see she can't get out of that end, and she definitely can't get out this end either. All right. And I'm also going to pass a bandana, Vicky, through the other barrel. There's a hole in the top. Okay, so remember, we'll pull her through here, through the solid steel plate, through the four solid steel rods using this rope. Now, Vicky, just to prove you're still inside this barrel, could you pull this bandana through for me? That would be great, brilliant. So we know she's there. Uh, Colin, if you could like, get into position for me. And guys at the end, and girls, get a hold of the rope. Help us out. Okay, in three. Okay, you ready? Three, pull, two, one. Okay, right, keep pulling, keep pulling. That's it, keep going. Now pull the other bandana when you're through, Vicky. Pull the other bandana. Oh, I think we've done it. Right, let's have a hug. Oh, come on, put the rope down. Let's see if we've done it. If this is what, you've got to admit, this is one very cool trick. Hopefully she's there, she should be behind the solid steel bars. Is she? She is, let's hear from Vicky. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Tricky. TV. I'm going to show you my favourite type of magic. It's called close-up magic. And for the trick, I need two cards. We've got a red one and a blue one. And we've also got a coin. Keep your eye on the coin. Here we go. I'm going to cover the coin with the blue card. So the coin is under the blue card. Watch the coin. The coin goes from the blue card and arrives under the red. I'll show you again. Watch really close this time, okay? Come in. Have a look at the coin. You know it's under the red card this time. The coin is under the red card. And now it comes from the red card and arrives back where it started, under the blue. Now, if you thought that was good, have a look at this. Put a ball. Place the ball just here. Place my hand over it. Now you know that it's behind this hand, okay? Watch. Goes from this hand and rise under that one. Final trick. Now for this one, I need to really, really concentrate. Watch. And the ball vanishes. Now, if you want to know how the coin jumped from one card to another, or indeed how the ball completely disappeared, make sure you stick around because I will tell you the secret. Still to come, can you guess how to solve today's challenge in Beat the Cheat? Oh! I'll show you how to magically put two halves of a stick of chewing gum back together again. <laughs> As our victims try to set a world record for the tallest stack of cards, they fall foul to another wicked wind-up. Just a moment ago, you saw me do some amazing close-up magic where I made a coin jump from one card to another, and I made a ball completely disappear. So, 
How did I do it? Now, some of you may be thinking, mind never matter. Well, it's not that. Oh, no. It's all down to me. Oh, mate, Ray, look, he's under the table. He's got a magnet stuck to his head. So what we did was we made sure the coin lined up with the magnet, like it is now. Then Ray moved his head from side to side, making it look as though the coin moves all by itself, like that. What about the ball? Well, the ball is metal. Oh, sorry, Ray. All I did was make sure the ball lined up with the magnet. Ray moved his head backwards and the ball obviously came with it. Just like that, Ray kept moving and the ball stuck to the magnet. So there you have it. That's the secret of the amazing close-up magic, all thanks to the magnetic personality of Ray. <laughs>
you have the whole stick of gum. And you start off and you say to your friends or whoever you're doing a trick to, you say, okay, here's the gum, I'm gonna tear it in half. And you do, except you don't. Let me show you from behind. You put this piece in front of the whole stick of gum and you pretend to tear it, okay? So from the front it looks like this. And these fingers are just hiding the bottom of the whole stick. Then to put it back together again, you just do the whole thing but in reverse. You put the half in front of the gum, you let go of the half piece, that goes up your sleeve, and then you show your friends that the whole thing is back how it started. Here are a couple of tricky tips for you to make the chewing gum trick even better. Okay, now, you want your elastic to be the right length. That way, when you let go of the half piece, it'll end up about here. This way, it's easy enough to retrieve and far enough up your sleeve so that no one sees it. Another neat tip is, you know when you're pretending to tear the chewing gum? Well, rub the half piece against the whole piece and it sounds as though you really have ripped it in half. There you are. And the last thing is make sure you keep it a secret as you're part of the secret circle. Ow. Sorry, Keith. We've come along to Hamley's, the most famous toy store in the world, to see a very special event. Now, the visitors here today are going to see someone attempt to make history. This is Tom from the Tricky Team being filmed through one of our hidden cameras. People will think he's aiming to beat the world record for the number of playing cards stacked on top of one another, and he's nearly finished. Now, what makes this world record attempt so special is that we made it up because this is our wicked wind-up. Now, there I am in disguise as Norbert McSquirter from the World Record Attempt Office. If you do These this, girls are waiting with bated breath to see Tom finish right. and break the record. He's been going for the last two days. We got up to two and a half metres on this one. Next, we invite one of the girls to place the final card and break the world record. So, yep. Watch really slow, please. Please be careful. What's your name? Amy. Amy, little lady. What you've got to do is just drop one card on, only use one hand. One. So right, like this could be the one. <laughs> this could be the one. Be very, very careful on this one. Slowly as you go, that's it. I don't want to do it. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Don't worry. They've been, they've been rocking and rolling. It'll be fine. Just drop it on top. You'll be fine. That's it. Oh! Our rig cards have fallen to the ground and her friends are all shocked. <laughs> so then the tricky team rebuilt the pile of cards and waited for the next set of victims. OK, go steady as you go, steady as you go. Now this girl was in on a joke to make the wind-up look as authentic as possible. She places the last but one card and everything is fine. Give her a round of applause. Well done. Well done. Shh. Shh. Okay, where's the other little fella? Until the next guy comes along. Good luck, George. We thought we'd make him jump. Well <laughs> that was you. What have you done, Josh? Or even George? That was me. Here's some more reactions from our falling card fun. There, yeah, and we've done the record. <laughs> we are just three away now from the world record. Off you go. Give it a go. <laughs> it's shaking. I can see it from you because the light's there and it's quivering back and forth. This guy really came along and started giving some advice. Do you think we should wait, or what do you think we should do? I think, to be honest, I, I would certainly wait. Wait? I would, honest. OK, wait. Don't touch this neither. Hey, well done. 
Well done! Please done it! Oh. Oh. Careful. Oh! That's a joke, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, which cup is the coin under? You'll find out in Beat the Cheat. We predict a riot in a science lab in another wiki wind up. And do you think I can escape from this locked box before a tank smashes me to pieces? Find out what happens next time. I think you'll agree it's going to be one smashing show. But now, do you know, it's great when things go right, but it's even funnier when they go wrong. I'll see you next time. Yes, it is time for our... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because when you let it go... Like that. <laughs> that wasn't funny. I hit my head. <laughs> I don't you give it a go. <laughs> she done it. <laughs> Do it again. Track it.